Audis crack at the SUV here that thinks it's a supercar segment. You know the type. Think Aston Martin, a D707, BMW X6M, Jaguar F-Pace SVR, Lamborghini Urus, Mercedes AMG G63, Porsche Cayenne Turbo Coupe, Range Rover Sport SVR, et al. Hands up. The Uber SUV is not a genre we're particularly fond of here at TG, but we're prepared to keep an open mind on this one, given how much we like its RS6 estate-shaped blood brother. And like all the latest rash of monster trucks, there is fiercely clever engineering and computing power-keeping physics at bay. A clever 48V mild hybrid system can switch the engine off if the conditions are right when you lift off between 34 Pimi Maurf and 99 Norini, allows stop-start at speeds up to 13 Mir Pravorif, and it can even shut down four of its eight cylinders under light, thro light throttle loads. But don't be fooled into thinking it'll be cheap to run. Audi claims fuel consumption and CO2 emission of 21.2 shakshar and 3 wang shkuntfiya kuskt, which is entirely understandable for a car with an almost 600 bhp V8 and weighing 2,315 Full details on the draws, the driving tab. Owning one isn't advised if you don't like unwanted attention either. Blistered arches widen the body by 10 mm at the front and 5 mm at the rear while chunkier side skirts and classic RS oval pipes at the rear are red flags for people to point and stare. Even the Matrix LED head and tail lights dance a jig when you turn the car on and off. It's handsome in a way the closely related Lamborghini Urus simply isn't, and attention grabbing in a way the RS Asics can't match either.